This store made over 100 sales just by selling AI-generated art. And there are other stores that also sell printable wall art as a digital product making a significant amount of sales. If you examine their product, you'll see that creating something similar is possible using Midjourney. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a similar product from scratch using Midjourney. The process will include product research, generating the art, creating mockups, and creating the product listing. I'll be using Etsy Marketplace because I'm familiar with it, but the process can be applied to any marketplace. By the way, my name is Zen, and welcome to my channel where I discuss my experiences making money online selling AI art. I'm not an expert, so please keep this in mind while watching this video. My process may not be anything extraordinary, but I hope it will provide you with valuable insight that may or may not be helpful to you. So let's get started. Here are the four steps that I will be doing. For product research, I'll use ChatGPT for finding niche ideas, Etsy Marketplace to analyze my competitors, Google Keyword Planner to check Google search volume, and Etsy Hunt or eRank for checking Etsy search volume. Then I'll use Meet Journey to create the artwork, but please take note that you must be a paid member to sell Meet Journey's art commercially. Alternatively, you can use the free version of Dall E, which allows you to sell the generated art commercially. For the mockups, I'll be using Canva. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to use ChatGPT for product listings, creating titles, descriptions, and keyword text. Some additional tools that I will mention include Figma, which is an online design tool, and Chainer, a flowchart node-based image processing GUI aimed at simplifying image processing tasks. You'll see what I mean later. Let's start with product research. There are many products that you can create using Midjourney, such as SVG stickers, T-shirt print on demand, poster print on demand, and many more. In my case, I'll be selling digital printable wall art because I believe it offers the best profit margins. To generate some product ideas, let's ask ChatGPT about some digital wall art designs that would appeal to females aged 18 to 35 on Etsy. The reason for choosing this target audience is that, according to this website, the typical Etsy customer in 2020 were young females between the age of 18 to 35. Okay, all of these ideas are great and you could create any of them, but let's start with floral and botanical designs. I'll then go to Google Keyword Planner and search for new keywords by typing in floral botanical wall art, floral wall art, and botanical wall art. You can then select any country you prefer to target. So, I'll be choosing the countries that I think have the highest reach. This step is important to confirm that there is an actual demand for floral wall art. Also, Google Keyword Planner is free to use and I'll include the link in the description for you to check it out. From the results, we can see a promising keyword flower wall decor with 10 to 100,000 monthly searches and it is also a rising trend as indicated by a plus 900% increase in search volume over the last 3 months. So, I'll choose this as my keyword. Next, I'll head over to SC to add analyze the niche by searching for the keyword. We can see that there is over 900,000 search results, which is not ideal for a new seller like me. I will not stand a chance of appearing on the first few pages with this keyword. So let's go to eRank and find a keyword with less competition. I'm using the free version of eRank which allows up to 5 keyword searches per day. So use them wisely if you want to use eRank. I personally prefer eRank as it is beginner friendly, easy to use and straightforward. Given the high competition, for flower wall decor, I'll look for another keyword that has a green color in the search volume and competition metric. To do this, I'll look for a keyword that ideally has green bars for all metrics shown by eRank. And if I don't find one with all green bars, I'll just continue searching for different keywords and looking at related keywords until I find one with all green bars. So what I'm doing here is just clicking analyze on keywords with green competition. The page will then show all the metrics that I want to see. Because I'm using free version, that's why I have to do this. And in this case, I found a keyword called Sage Green Wall Art. Before creating any art for that, I'll research and familiar familiarize myself with what Sage Green Wall Art is. And to gain further insights, I'll look at the popular listings in terms of views shown in eRank, explore shops, and examine items that many people have in their baskets. Something like this. This will give me a rough idea on what are the types of product that I should be creating. Okay, let's move on to the exciting part. I'm currently on my own Discord server with the Meet Journey bot. I've observed that many sellers are offering 3 pieces of Sage Green Wall Art, so I want to create my own as well. My aim is to create something that combines Sage Green and Floral Wall Decor with a modern minimalistic touch, because that's probably what I would want for myself. I'll try different prompts to find the images I want. Also, I'll be including a document below containing
explaining all the prompts I use. After a few generations, I will choose some images that have potential and upscale them. To save time, I'm just gonna fast forward this process. Okay, so these are the few images that I've selected. Okay, so this is how the end product is gonna look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take all my images and then I'll just drag it into Figma. Okay, so like this. And then what I will do now is create a new frame. To create a new frame, just press F on your keyboard and then just drag. And then I will change the size to exactly the same size as the image. So think of the frame like a placeholder. Okay, then I will drag the image into the frame and it should fit perfectly like so. And then I'll just repeat the process for the remaining images. And then to get rid of this, uh, the watermark, I'll just enlarge the image. And you'll see that only the image is moving and the frame is not. So I'll just adjust the image properly. So you can see that the size of the flower is, the size of this rose is about the same as the size of these flowers. So I'm just gonna repeat the process for the remaining images. And there you have it. Then I'll just rearrange them in sets of three to find the best combination. So I personally think that the middle one looks good. I'm not sure. I mean I can I can probably publish all of this combination but let's just go with the middle one for now so then i'll just uh, rename them so for example sage green flower one then sage green flower two sage green flower three and then i'll select these three images and click on export here and then um i will export as the uh, JPEG. I'm exporting the images as JPEG because Etsy has a 20 MB limit for each digital item uploaded to a listing. And in my case, I will offer 5 different sizes for each image. Although you can choose the each sizes you want to offer, I've noticed that many dig digital product sellers offer their products in these 5 sizes. That's why I'm choosing JPEG over PNG to meet the file limit. I believe the quality should be acceptable as long as the resolution is 300 dpi. Okay, the next part will be upscaling and resizing the images. You will need to use chainer for this. I will include a link in the description below where I learned how to set up the application. It's easy and will only take you a few minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll try to explain this flowchart. Okay, so this node loads the image you want to process and then you will load the upscaling model you wish to use. After upscaling the images, I will resize the image to the largest dimension in each size category, making them scalable for users who may want a different size. The final note here is to save the image. I will share this uh, flowchart template in the description so that you can use it. All you need to do is to load the image and then choose the file name that you want to save. And just like that, I have all my images in the five different aspect ratios that I wanted. Now, I realize that the file sizes are still too large and I don't think I will be able to upload them all on Etsy. So what I'm gonna do is provide the files with aspect ratio of 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 as an instant download. And for the remaining files, I'll upload them to Dropbox and share the link for customers to download from. This is how I'm going to do it. First, I'll compress the images using compressor.io, which is a free website. Be sure to select the lossless type which is recommended for prints. After compressing the images, I'll convert their DPI to 300 as they are currently only at 96 dpi. I'll be using convert.town for this, which is also a free website. Finally, for the remaining images, I will upload them to Dropbox. I'm using the free version which allows up to 2GB of storage, which should be sufficient for now. Moving on to mockups, you can find free mockups on Canva or freepick.com. It may be a little bit difficult to find free mockups for three-piece wall art, so I generated my own using Mid Journey. I think they look pretty good. So here's the final mockup for my three-piece sage green wall art. They look pretty good, I guess. Okay, so I've organized all the images and they are ready to be used. The last three folders will be directly uploaded to Etsy. And for the remaining folders, I will be creating a new shared folder on Dropbox. Make sure to change the access from anyone with the link to can view instead of can edit. Then go to settings and create a link for viewing. Change the manage access to only the owner and click save. Upload all the folders. Now with the shared link, you can copy and paste it into a text file or PDF file and there you have it. Now go to Etsy and create a new listing. Upload the mockup images and for the product title and keyword tag, I will follow the tips based on this video. The link is in the description below. It's up to you if you want to use ChatGPT for this. Basically, you want to come up with a list of anchor 
technical words and descriptive words for your product and create a title based on them. You cannot 100% rely on ChatGPT, so you have to put some thought into this. And this is my final product title. The attributes are equally important, so make sure to fill them out. The description plays a small role in SEO, so I wouldn't spend a lot of time here. This is what I'll have. You want to create text based on what, where, when, and why. I'm still testing this strategy out, so I can't say that it's 100% effective yet. Finally, image text can also play a part in SEO, so just write some words describing what your image is, and the only step left to do is upload your files and you're ready to publish. If you made it this far, here's a quick hack for you. Duplicate the listing that you just published, try a different product title and change up the text. So, we have reached the end of the video. If you found it helpful and informative, please consider giving it a like. It will mean a lot to me. Remember, consistent is key on Etsy and you can't give up too soon. This is just my third month on Etsy and while I haven't seen much success yet, I'm not going to give up. My plan is to publish at least one or two listings per day and hope to see success soon. That's it for now folks. If you have any feedback, I will be happy to read it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Subscribe.